I want to talk briefly about the Brock Purdy hatred that we're seeing in the media because yeah. it's ridiculous. Brock Purdy, as you know, the 49ers have lost three straight games. They started off 5-0, and and then they had a tough loss against the Browns. They just lost against the Bengals. And you were seeing Brock Purdy start to come down to earth a little bit, was playing really exceptional the first pretty much year of his time here, and now he's finally starting to struggle. And it's like they have a target on his back. It's ridiculous saying like, oh, this is proof why he's Mr. Irrelevant, why he's played poorly. And he's had a poor stretch of the last three games, but – no quarterback can struggle. Has Joe Burrow not struggled? Has Josh Allen not struggled? Has Lamar, Pounding Mahomes, all these quarterbacks, Justin, Justin Herbert, Herbert. <laughs> yeah. have these guys not struggled? Like, it's ridiculous. And they're getting so much hatred. And I get that he has a bunch of talent around him. But this Brock Hurdy hatred is out. Of, it's ridiculous. It's out of like, I don't understand. And, that, and I feel like they do kind of similar to Tua, but not to the same extent. Brock Purdy, I got his highest. They love him. They love to cheer him on. But as soon as he's down, they just kick him while he's down. And I don't think that Brock Purdy, by any means, is a bad quarterback just because he struggled the last three games. I'm still on the Brock Purdy train. I just think he's the best quarterback in that quarterback room. You know, they almost started Sam Darnold. He's coming off of a concussion. Cut the guy some slack. Let him struggle. The 49ers are still going to be in the dance at the end of the game. They're still going to be there with the Cowboys and the Eagles and the Lions at the end of it. Cut him some slack. They're allowed to struggle. And Brock Purdy is a second year quarterback and he's yeah. and he's you know late round pick he's played exceptional up to this point now he's just struggling a little bit what's the deal yeah he hasn't played a full season i get you can critique brock purdy for struggling he is going through a rough patch but just the viciousness just the vitriol where you're just excited to tamper people down you're excited to just rip the guy apart and see like i told you he sucked he was undrafted for a reason now this is why he's mr irrelevant he still beat out trey lance who is the third overall pick he's still starting over sam Darnold, who colin cowherd is in love with who nick wright was in love with pre draft and these two guys are just jumping all over him he's someone who went to dallas and then beat them 42 to 10 this is a guy who has proven that he can not be a weak link on a team and he's never really struggled so far in his career he's mm. gonna bounce back from this they have to figure some things out Debo Samuel is not there and I get it, but they still have enough weapons where they'll be able to get back to themselves and figure it out. But it's not just Brock Purdy on this team. I would get it if it was just Brock Purdy on this team that was struggling, but the defense has struggled. Nick Bosa hasn't been himself the past few weeks. Fred Warner, Ufunga, like you still have talent on your defense. You still gave up 31 points. You still let Jordan Addison cook you. You still have potentially a Steve Wilkes problem. You still went out there and then lost to the Cleveland Browns and PJ Walker, who is a XFL MVP, not NFL MVP. And it's not all on Brock Purdy. Like this is a team that's just struggling at this point. I felt like they proved to themselves with Dallas. They really just want to humble the Cowboys and like, Oh, you're we're on the same level as you as a contender. You're still not the 49ers are still better than you. Debo's going to come back. Trent Brown or Trent Williams is going to come back. You lose one of the best tackles in the league. Of course, you're going to have to make an adjustment when you get hurried. So it's like, there's plenty of area to criticize Brock Purdy for, but you don't need to rip him apart this viciously. We don't do this to any other quarterback that struggles. It's like, mm -hmm. it's embarrassing. Like you mentioned Herbert, like Herbert has looked worse than this before in his career. Josh Allen has looked much worse than this before in his career. Yeah. Patrick Mahomes has struggled at points this year. It's like, cut the kid a break. It's his second year. He hasn't even played a full season yet, I believe. So he's still technically in his rookie year. They were in it versus the Eagles until he got hurt. He beat Dak Prescott head to head in a playoff game. It's like, no, he's still a good quarterback. Um, Maybe he's not a top 10 quarterback and that's fine. But is he the worst quarterback and Mr. Irrelevant and as bad as people are making him out to be like, no, he's still a gamer. He's still a good quarterback and he's struggled with injury. His best tackle went down. His best receiver went down and Debo Samuel's still like kind of showing how he's the best receiver on that team. But your defense has also struggled. So he's not the only 